Heath Dalton uh, fans. We're here with Coach Nick Monroe of uh, the BG football program, his second year with uh, with uh, the Falcons, and we're excited for Nick, and, and he's got by far the most uh, young men coming in to the program, and, and I've asked Coach Monroe, and you got to get the okay from Coach Gloss, and next year to be his uh, official bag holder, because Nick uh, recruits uh, mostly the state of Florida and a couple other areas, and most of his guys are from Florida, so we'll uh, you know, we'll see if I can help uh, you know, travel down to, to Delray Beach and Fort Myers and all the good places next year. Nick, you think we can handle that? Oh, I think we I'll, can do I'll that your as, long as, as long as Coach okay is I'm good with it. <laughs> Nick, we're going to just go through one by one the players again because you got a good number of young men coming in. Hervé Kobe from uh, wide receiver 6'1", 180 from Delray Beach, Florida. Talk about Hervé a little bit. Yeah, Hervé is, uh, in my opinion, he's the next big special receiver that we're going to have here at Bowling Green. Uh, the kid is smooth, he's fluid, he's got great hands. Um, you know, he's, he's tall enough to play out on the, on the wide side of the field, yet he's quick enough to play in the slot. The kid is he's going to be a big kid. Right now he's a little bit thin, but another year or two, he's going to be you know, a 200-pound-plus kid. And with that dimension of his game, too, I just don't know how anybody's going to be able to stop the kid. I'm sure Coach Horry will be excited to get him in the weight room and oh, yeah. put a little no, meat on the, on the bones. There's no question about that, but yeah, he's a, he's a special one. There's no doubt. How about Travis Green, 5'11", 170 of Carroll City, Florida. Um, he, he's, he's the athlete uh, of, of the group as it relates to position-wise. Yeah, Trav is uh, he's definitely the athlete. He does a lot of different, different things dynamically. Um, we're going to look to play him at corner probably to begin with. Uh, the kid played receiver, corner, and uh, the thing that he was so explosive about was his, his uh, return game, kickoff returns, punt returns for touchdowns. Um, but the kid is so athletic and so flat out fast that he can do so many different things for a young football field. And that's why I think first we want to give him a shot to play at corner and see if he can. Uh, help us lock some people down there. Do you see Travis being a big part of the special teams as well at some point, early on or down the road as well? Is this something uh, you can I would definitely with? say that he has got the flat-out speed right now to help us early on, Excellent. especially as a kickoff returner and a punt returner. How about Daryl Hunter, uh, DB, 5'10", 175 from West Palm Beach, Florida? Yeah, Daryl um, comes from an unbelievable program, uh, Dwyer, where uh, as a junior they won the state championship. As a senior, they went to the state semis. And uh, when I was out evaluated in the spring, saw Daryl, and the one thing that I noticed about him was he was so competitive, just in one-on-ones even. I mean, he did not let a receiver get off the line of scrimmage. Very physical kid, uh, had great feet and great hips, could run with anybody. In fact, his head coach told me that in the last two years, he has not beat deep once. So, I mean, he keeps things in front of him, keeps things inside of him. And, um, you know, I think, um, I think the enticing thing about Daryl, too, was he played receiver in high school and had a, and a great career as a receiver as well. And he's got the ball skills that you don't have right. to necessarily teach. So anytime you got ball skills as a defensive back, you're always in a great way. Excellent. How about Johnny Joseph, DB59170 from Fort Lauderdale? Yeah, Johnny Joseph obviously comes from St. Thomas Aquinas. Mm -hmm. And um, the thing about Johnny is, is that... Uh, you know, St. Thomas Aquinas is regarded as one of the best programs in the country, year in and year out. Yeah, they're, I think they won the National High School Championship this past year. So yeah, they, the they certainly did. They, uh, they were undefeated, and they won not only the state title, but the national championship as well. And anytime you get a, a kid, a, a young man from a program like that, obviously he's going to know how to compete. He's going to know what it takes to win, and obviously winning is contagious, so sure. that, that rubs off on everybody. But the thing about Johnny is, is he's got such good feet. You know, watching him run around and watching him cover people, his his foot speed is at a different level. I don't I don't see people running by him, and he's a sure tackle. He tackles thick. Uh, he puts his face on things, and and people aren't you know breaking tackles on him. Excellent. Yeah. How about Anton Samuel from Oba Loca, Florida? <laughs> Anton. He's a running back. He is a tailback. Um, I think the best thing to, to describe Anton is is he's got he's got all three aspects. He's not only flat out fast, he's not only flat out quick, but he's got some legitimate power to his game too. The kid's got the ultimate combination. He's got a burst to him. You're probably a, an old school PlayStation guy, you know, uh, the old R1, L1. He can shake it this way, sure. go that way, and then giddy up and go. And, uh, you know, and, and he's got great hands out of the backfield as well, which obviously within our offense, you know, he'll be a screen guy as well, just getting the ball. But, but Anton is... 
he's got every single tool, and he's got great vision. Right. You know? He really does. He's a he's a very very special playmaking tailback. He's six foot one eighty. Do you see some weight getting put um, on him at all? Will, will that help us <laughs> being that much more? He'll be a beast. You know, he's got a frame on him right now that uh, he's going to be a beast. Make, make sure he takes his offensive lineman out to you know, no question. And they're they're, they're, they're all going to be sitting there. with right. him. There's no question about it. A couple more guys, for Coach uh, Monroe, uh, Brian Sutton, DB, six foot. To, uh, 180 from Fishers, Indiana. It's good to see you got some Hoosiers coming in. No, that's yeah, no state. question. So We've got, we got to treat the Hoosier State. We play pr right, pretty good right. six-man football. I like right. to tell people there. But talk about Brian a little bit. Uh, Brian came here this summer at one of our camps. And we knew about him in the spring. He was highly recommended and regarded in the state of Indiana. Came here at, a, at one of our Friday Night Light camps and just really tore it up. Uh, demonstrated explosiveness. Demonstrated competitiveness. Uh, he was just an all-around football player, and I, as he, he had a great senior year. Um, Fishers is a relatively newer high school in the suburbs of Indianapolis. This was their first state championship ever, so they won the state championship. He played receiver, he played tailback, he played safety, he played corner. Um, he really did a variety of things, but I think the one thing about Brian is he demonstrated great leadership all year long, and, and I think that he's going to be the one guy that the guys really gravitate around and, and look to both on and off the field to uh, to keep things going but he's a he's a very special football player and he's you know he's only from three and a half hours away so That's right. we're going to see him quite a bit this spring you know. last one Denard Turner DB from uh, Miami Florida six foot 180 yeah Denard is uh, kind of like what we like to say a silent assassin uh, off the field he is the most courteous uh, respectful gentleman type. I'm telling you what, you turn on the film and you watch the kid play. Um, he's looking to baptize people. Uh, he is like a, the best way I could describe him. He's a, he's a modern day Ed Reed. He's a, he's a freak. He gets the ball in his hands, he's gone. I, I, he had three interceptions his senior year and all of them for touchdowns. You can't catch him, but he's the type of kid that out there when you see him hit people, you hear the crowd going, ooh and ah. You know, I mean, he's that kind of guy. He, he will. He will put it on you. Coach, the, the neat thing, as I read the bios of these, all these young men, they all are winners. They, they've come from winning programs. A lot of them have state championships, and, and that's important because they, you know, they understand what it takes to get to that level, not just to be successful, but also to, to win at a high level. And I like that. It's, you know, success breeds success. And There's no doubt. And in our program under Coach Clausen and, and your, your guidance as well, I think it's pretty neat. Yeah, you're right on with that. I mean, I think it was Vince Lombardi that said, uh, you know, winning is habit for me. Unfortunately, so is losing. Right. You know, and now you take a, a group of kids from all over the country, and here they are, and they've all been proven winners, and, and here they are doing it on the next stage. And you put all those juices together, it, it makes for one one heck of a, a good drink, I think. One last comment. Yeah, obviously, most of these guys are from Florida. How is it? You know, you, you probably up late at night over the last week or a month, month and a half, and <laughs> hoping these young guys, because you know, Florida is obviously a hotbed for. Uh, athleticism and, and there's probably a lot of teams just like Bowling Green going down and getting these guys. I remember I flew out to Dallas. I saw you in the airport that same morning. That right. Back in December, you're going down to, to talk with these kids, make sure they're still on right. board with the Falcons. Yeah, you know, it would be it would be wrong of me not to say. I think the greatest thing we do here as a program is is with our staff. We do a, a great job of team recruiting. I mean, absolutely. Not just myself. And Coach Clawson was down there. Coach Elko, Coach Carney, Coach Spencer. I mean. All these different coaches have been in these houses with me, with these kids. And, 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 and again, at night when we're calling kids, you know, we'll pass the phone around. And, and every single coach is talking to these kids. So they don't just know me. They feel comfortable with the rest of our coaches. And, and on top of that, it's our kids that sell this yeah, place. That's best. When right. they come up under official visits, I mean, that's the number one. If you, if you talk to every single one of these kids, the number one thing they talk about, it's a family atmosphere. We already felt welcome. We already felt like we were a part of the team. And, and now, I mean, that's the most important thing to so many kids is the comfortability level. You know, and when they feel that, yeah. you feel like it's part of a family. Well, it's, it's been like that for a lot of years. And, you know, it's, it's fun to welcome these guys into our Falcon family. So, no good question. job, Coach. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Hey, and thank uh, you. Get some, hopefully get some sleep tonight for once. No question. <laughs> thank you. Very you very much. Thank you.